At a toy factory, it takes two machines 50 minutes to create 10 teddy bears. How many teddy bears can one machine create in 30 minutes? 6, 2, 3, 5. First, let's determine the combined rate of the two machines. The problem states that two machines can create 10 teddy bears in 50 minutes. Therefore, the combined rate of the two machines is rate of two machines is equal to 10 teddy bears divided by 50 minutes and is equal to one teddy bear per five minutes. Next, we find the rate of one machine. Since the rate given is for two machines working together, we divide this rate by two. Rate of one machine is equal to one teddy bear per five minutes divided by two equals one teddy bear per 10 minutes. Then, we calculate the number of teddy bears one machine can create in 30 minutes. Using the rate of the machine, one teddy bear per 10 minutes times 30 minutes is equal to three teddy bears. Thus, one machine can create three teddy bears in 30 minutes. The correct answer is three. Red and green dragons live in a cave. Every red dragon has six heads, eight legs, and two tails. Every green dragon has eight heads, six legs, and four tails. There are 44 tails altogether, and there are six less green legs than red heads. How many red dragons live in the cave? Eight, seven, six, nine. Let's denote the number of red dragons as R and the number of green dragons as G. Every red dragon has two tails, and every green dragon has four tails. So the total number of tails is. Tails is equal to 2, R plus 4G equals 44. There are six less green legs than red heads. So, green legs is equal to red heads minus 6. Since every green dragon has six legs, and every red dragon has six heads, 6G is equal to 6R6. Divide each term by 6. G is equal to our minus 1. Now we can put G is equal to our minus 1 into our tails formula from above. Tails is equal to 2, R plus 4 times R minus 1 equals 44. Now expand the equation. We get 2R plus 4R minus 4 is equal to 44. Combine like terms. 6R is equal to 48. So, R is equal to 48 divided by 6, which is equal to 8. A store sells bags of rice in two sizes, 5 kilograms and 10 kilograms. If a 5 kilogram bag of rice costs 180 pesos, how much should a 10 kilogram bag cost if they are sold at the same rate per kilogram? For 100 pesos, 350 pesos, 300 pesos, 360 pesos. The cost of a kilogram of rice in a 5 kilogram bag is 180 pesos per 5 kilograms is equal to 36 pesos per kilogram. The cost of a 10 kilogram bag of rice at the same rate per kilogram is 10 kilograms times 36 pesos per kilogram is equal to 360 pesos. Tom borrowed $600 at 10% per year, simple interest, for 3 years. How much did he have to repay, principal plus interest? At the end of the three-year period, $740,680,650,650,000. The interest to pay is given by Interest is equal to 600 times 10% times 3 is equal to $180. Total to repay is 600 plus 180 equals $780. Mary has a monthly salary of $1,200. She spends $280 per month on food. What percent of her monthly salary does she spend on food? 23%, 27%, 30%. 
25%. The part of her salary that is spent on food is $280 out of her monthly salary of $1,200. Percent equals 280 divided by 1200 equals 0.23, rounded to two decimal places. 0.23 times 100 is equal to 23%. A rug manufacturer produces rugs at a cost of 75 pesos per rug. What is the manufacturer's gross profit from the sale of 150 rugs if two-thirds of the rugs are sold for 150 pesos per rug and the rest are sold for 200 pesos per rug? The total production cost is equal to 150 times 75 equals 11,250. The selling price of the two-thirds of 150 rugs equals 100 times 150 equals 15,000. The selling price of 50 rugs equals 50 times 200 is equal to 10,000. Total sales equals 10,000 plus 15,000 is equal to 25,000. Gross profit is equal to 25,000 minus 11,250 equals 13,750. Jay's Bike Shop has reduced the price of a rear derailleur by 15%. What is the original price of the item if the sale price is 1275 pesos? To find the original price of the rear derailleur before the 15% reduction, we can use the following formula. Original price is equal to sale price over 1 minus percentage reduction. Given that the sale price is 1275 pesos and the reduction is 15%, we can calculate the original price. Original price is equal to 1275 pesos divided by 1 minus 0.15. Original price equals 1275 pesos divided by 0 0.85. So, original price is equal to 1500 pesos. A man cycling along the road noticed that every 12 minutes a bus overtakes him and every 4 minutes he meets an oncoming bus. If all buses and the cyclist move at a constant speed, what is the time interval between consecutive buses? 8 minutes, 5 minutes, 9 minutes, 6 minutes. To find the time interval between consecutive buses, consider overtaking buses. Every 12 minutes a bus overtakes the cyclist. Therefore, 60 minutes divided by 12 minutes, which is equal to 5 buses per hour. And oncoming buses. Every 4 minutes a bus meets the cyclist. Therefore, 60 minutes divided by 4 minutes, which is equal to 15 buses per hour. Combining both directions. Total number of buses passing by the cyclist per hour is 5 plus 15 is equal to 20 buses. The time interval between consecutive buses is 60 minutes divided by 20 buses is 3 minutes. Considering that buses moving in opposite directions meet the cyclist separately, the actual calculation for interval per direction is double the number of buses. Therefore, interval per direction is equal to 60 minutes divided by 20 buses, which is also divided by 2. This is equal to 60 minutes divided by 10 and is equal to 6 minutes. A computer software retailer used a markup rate of 40%. Find the selling price of a computer game that cost the retailer $25, $75, To determine the selling price of a computer game that cost the retailer $25, with a markup rate of 40%, follow these steps. Calculate the markup amount. Markup amount is equal to cost price times markup rate. Markup amount is equal to 25 times 0 0.40 equals 10. Calculate the selling price. Selling price is equal to cost price plus markup amount. Selling price is equal to 25 plus 10 equals $35. In the Philippines, 13 out of every 20 cans are recycled. 
What percent of cans are recycled? 75%, 50 50%, 45%, 65%. of cans recycled is equal to 13 divided by 20 times 100 is equal to 65%.